Hi, Sarah Altair, and this is Right Time Focus. This is especially for new novelists. This is reality for new novelists, and it's about your marketing platform. It takes time, and you need to train yourself to start thinking about marketing as you're writing that first novel. Um, because once you go about publishing your book, whether it's traditional publishing or independent publishing on your own, you're going to need your marketing platform. And the best time to start is right now. So let's go few, through a few of the things you need to do to get your marketing platform in place. The very first thing you need to do is to write a description of your book. And you'll probably revise this many times as you continue, but get one done and be able to share it and to be able to talk about it when you meet people. That's the first thing. And then the next thing is to write a bio for yourself. This will be in the third person. Pretend that this is a something that um, someone is introducing you as a speaker and this is what they'll say. So write it in the third person. And you'll probably want to do several bios. You'll have a short one, maybe 25 to 30 words that you can use to put at the end of your blog post, for instance, or at a um, shared blog if you're guest blogging. Um, you want to have one that's maybe 100 to 300 words for places like any public publishers that you're going to, where you're going to be publishing your novel, especially if you're an independent. Um, Places like Amazon, iBooks, Kobo, you're going to want a, a bio about you that goes along with your book. Okay. You can hire a publicist to do all this for you, but lots of beginning novelists don't have money to invest in things like that. So um, I just suggest that you do it yourself. And then with the same as with the book description, you're probably going to be fiddling with this and changing it. A number of times and then there's no better time than now to think about creating a cover image for your book finding and refining who you want as your graphic designer for your book cover and now's the time to start don't wait till your book is finished um, you also want to create a giveaway, either um, a short story or a brief fact sheet about something, whatever your novel is about, whether if it's historical, you might want to write something about that time. Anyway, a short giveaway because the next thing you're going to do is create an email list. And um, there are a number of services that you can use to create your email list. This is going to save you tons of time. In the end, you won't have to be emailing every individual. And the other is that your email list are your fans. And now's the time to get them excited about your novel and what you're doing and what the story is. I am sharing that information with your readers. Um, you want to create a website as well. It can be very simple. There are plenty of places out there like wordpress.com and others where you can create a simple a simple website with you and your book and um, most website formats offer you a blog as well. So it's all in one place for people to get in touch with you. This is your home ground. It doesn't matter how much social media you do. Your website is your home base and you want to start creating it now. 
and thinking about what's going to be on there. Um, basic pages for your website are an introduction to you as your author. Who remember that bio you wrote? <laughs> and a page for the book with that book description. And if you have the cover ready, you can add the cover there. And um, once the book is published, you'll have links to where people can buy your book. And a blog page where you keep your readers up to date on what's going on. You can share your writing progress. You can tell them about your life. People do really want to know about you as a person. So it doesn't always have to be formal. Um, people like to know about you, your family, your dogs, your cats, pets, your adventures, whether you like hiking or surfboarding or whatever it is. Um, people like to know about you as well. And um, then you're going to connect your email list to your website with an invitation that actually offers them that freebie that you wrote, whether it's an introductory chapter or facts about your time period or a short story that goes along with the novel that you're writing, whatever it is. You're going to integrate those things and have a page on your website that invites those readers to join your your email list. And then once they join, here's the beauty of using those autoresponder email services. You're going to set up five automatic emails that go to your readers when they sign up for your email list. And the first one is going to be... The, Five is a good number. The first one is going to be immediate and it's going to give them that freebie that they asked for and welcome them and thank them and introduce them briefly to your book. Um, and then the second one goes out about three days after that first one and it says, wow, did you miss the book and have that link again for your freebie, whatever it is. And... Um, Make it short and sweet, and um, mine is, history is different, people are the same. Just kind of a little tickler about what your novel is about. Okay, and then three days after that, you want to do, do a little bit more about you now. They're on your mailing list, and maybe they've had time to read your free gift, and now you can tell them, a little bit about you, how you started writing the book, um, if you have your social media connections, um, you can list those there so they can follow you other places other than the email list. And then um, maybe a week after that, you expand on your personal life. Um, things about you, what your favorite activities are, what your favorite food is. It doesn't matter. It's just sharing more information about who you are as a person and maybe a photo or two from your life. And uh, once again, an invitation, if your book is published, an invitation to read your book with a link to where they can get it. And then the last one is maybe a week after that. So it's going to be about a month out from when they joined your email list. And that is an invitation to free books from you forever. And they get those by joining your beta reader, your street team, whatever you want to call it. Those are your super fans who want to read your next work before it's published, or if this is your first novel, when you have it done, they can read it and give you feedback. Not everyone's going to do this. Not everyone's going to want to do it. But you have an invitation for them to join that special group of super fans who really want to support you and give you feedback about, about your story. And you want that feedback before you do your final edits because they're going to pick up on the things that don't work and boy, that's what you want to know. Um, 
So, and then I briefly mentioned social media and you want to set up your social media accounts as you, the writer, all right? So this is the time to set up your Facebook page, not your profile, but a page as you, as an author, and talk about your books. And as your book gets published, you can set up links for them to get the book and future books. And of course, join your, e join your email list. Um, okay, and then you can start now about educating yourself about about book promotion because it's long involved it works different ways for different people different ways for different genres so you really want to get uh, some education read all you can um, attend webinars just kind of get that basic information and educate yourself about how you're going to go about promoting your book once it's published. Once again, if you have a large budget, you can hire professionals to do almost all of this for you. But many, many beginning writers don't have a large budget. So that's why you want to start now while you're working on that first novel to get these things set up. It takes time and to learn more about book promotion. Now, even if you are looking for traditional publishers and searching for agents, many agents will not take you on unless you have your author platform in place. So this is a really important part of beginning to think of yourself seriously as a professional writer. You want your platform in place and of course, if you're an indie author, you're really going to need this because it's up to you to promote your book. All right, that's it. And thanks for watching.